Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss the example for limits and continuity. A function of f is given as below. So in here, notice that we have the modulus x plus 1. Can you define the situation? So we have the modulus x plus 1. So here we have a positive x plus 1. x plus 1 greater or equals to 0. Second part, negative bracket x plus 1. So x plus 1 less than 0. So if we simplify the situation and we will have modulus x plus 1 equals to, so we have x plus 1, x greater equals to negative 1. Negative bracket x plus 1. So we have x less than negative 1. So that is the definition. So by referring to this part, we have x less than 0. By illustrate the situation in the real number line. So in here we have a straight line. Then let's say we have the negative 1 over here. So, for the left-hand side, we have negative bracket x plus 1. For the right-hand side, we have x plus 1. So now, based on the question, here they mention we have a 0. So, question mentions that x less than 0. So, we have the function x plus 1. Next, the question mentions that when x is equal to 0, the value of y will be 2. If greater than 0, there will be the function exponent negative 2x. So here are the situation. Kali refers to the question, find the limit when x approaching 0 from the right for the function fx. So from the right, we have exponent negative 2x. So if we substitute, and we will have exponent 0, where the value of y approaching 1. Limit when x approaching 0 from the left. For the function, Kali refers to the real number line. We have x plus with the 1. If we substitute 0, and we will have the value of y approaching 1. So based on the situation, we have the limit when x approaching 0 from the right for the function fx is equal to limit when x approaching 0 from the left for the function fx. Since the value is the same, so we can say limit exists. So limit when x approaching 0 for the function fx, the limit exists where we have the value of y approaching 1. Hence, determine whether the f is continuous at x is equal to 0. Give your reason for your answer. So, step number 1. We have f0. So, if it refers to the situation, we have value of y will be equal to 2. Step number 2. Limit when x approaching 0 for the function fx, the limit exists and the value of y approaching 1. Step number 3. f0 is it equals to limit when x approaching 0 for the function fx? So the answer is no. It's not the same. Then, step number 4. We can say that fx is discontinuous at x is equals to 0. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.